Hello everybody and welcome back to Wonder Draft here on the Wooden Otter. Today, we're going to be putting the finishing touches on my Starfinger C map by adding pathing and labels to my world. This map will then be used in future videos to make inset maps and other more detailed maps for my players' adventures. Let's jump right into it. So, the first thing I want to add to my map here is pathing. I want some major roads, basically only the major roads, to connect some of these major cities to be displayed on this map. Obviously, at this scale, you can't have every single uh, road. You can't have... I mean, hell, I, I don't even have every single kingdom on this map. I specifically left areas open for you know, future homebrew kingdoms to be added to the map. So if you look at the the regions, you know, this region might be a whole huge kingdom, but the other side of the mountains, this border area here could be, you know, a kingdom by itself. This island could be a kingdom by itself. This might be an established kingdom, but this is left blank. This might be, you know, the an established kingdom of dwarves here in the mountains, but but this side of the mountains is not filled in. The center of this isthmus or uh, peninsula is not filled in, etc. There's a lot of open areas in this map uh, that can be future homebrew kingdoms. So I really want to get just the basic pathing done just the major roads so let's see what do we want to do let's see what dotted lines look like and i want to focus on where my characters are currently and if i do if i do this that's not so bad So that's pretty much the pathing that I want to include on this map. I think it's time to start labeling stuff. So we're going to start with the big one. Labels. Click. Water. And we're just going to start typing. We're going to go the star, finger, C. Now that is a pitiful label. Absolutely pitiful. So let's up it. I mean, this is the big honcho of the area. I want 
want it to be like damn near the whole screen. We can rotate a bit. And we'll do curvature. Yeah, that's good. That's some good looking curvature. That's nice. I like that. Alright, now let's talk about text. Two hours later. So, I don't really like the way that that font looks, so I'm going to look into importing a new font. So I'm on this website that I recently found called dafont.com. I don't know if it's dafont or da font or dafont. I don't, I don't have any idea. But basically, in this window here, this little field here, you can type in whatever you want as a, as a preview. And then you can basically select any like category of fonts up here at the top. So I'm gonna try and find something. I kind of want. I kind of want like a calligraphy font, but like almost like an old English kind of uh, calligraphy font. If you know what I'm talking about, the one where the G is like absolutely nuts like this one birds of paradise is actually kind of cool oh boy there's a lot of calligraphy fonts maybe I'm in the wrong category let's take a look at like gothic ones yeah this is what I'm thinking of like where the T not G but like look at this this is this is cool old London I did medieval yep old London pops up this is this is kind of the stuff that I had in mind too like I love that fancy ass s look at that it's like got like a friggin pin through it noise sketch gothic school that's way too complicated. Now we're going the other direction. This is too pointy. This is like, I feel like I'm going to hurt myself on that font. A little more ornate with the S's. This is actually not bad. Landbrow. Lohengrin. That's not bad either. So here we are back in Wonderdraft. I assume that everyone knows how to add custom assets to their WonderDraft folder, but long story short, and as a quick summary, when you download the fonts from that website that I just showed you, DA Fonts, you end up with a font file, a true font file, or an open, a true type font file, or an open type font file, and those files can just easily be dumped into your user app data roaming WonderDraft assets file under whatever your custom assets folder is, go to it and make a subfolder called fonts, F-O-N-T-S, lowercase, dump them in there, click run as administrator on WonderDraft, just like you would for a custom asset, and uh, they pop up in your fonts. So you can see here, we have all of the original fonts, as well as Landbrau, Lohengrin, Aston Script Pro, Bold, Bold. Don't know why there's two bolds there. And Candle Script Demo Version. These are four fonts that I have downloaded. So we're going to add these. And for the purposes of water names, water features, I'm going to go with Candle Script Demo Version. And I'll show you what that looks like right here. The star finger, if I can spell finger... See the straw finger can't spell star either, apparently. The star finger C. So I want my outline width to be almost nothing, but I do want to add some curvature. So there's the star finger C. I really like that font, it's just loopy enough to evict 
or elicit images of water, of the ocean, the flowing waves, etc. And we can add future water labels using this font. The next thing I want to do, since this is going to be our first water font for now, the next thing I want to do is label the city that my adventurers are currently in. Valkirk. So if I were to click here and say the Grey Moors. Well, guys, I think this is going to have to be it for this map of the Starfinger Sea. Why don't you guys leave me some comments down below about which you'd rather see. Would you rather see an inset map of this map? Or would you rather me do a whole other map, like region map, world map, or however you want to say it, of a different part of Earth? Like... Uh, you know, the New Zealand we can do, where we alter the coastline of New Zealand and make a brand new landmass that way, or, you know, the Gulf of Mexico would be a really interesting thing, where we change the uh, sea levels there and create an entirely new kind of adventure setting with a large inland sea. Uh, we could do late. We could do a uh, Huron Bay. Changing the water levels there would make a really interesting coastline. Uh, kind of using Northern Canada as an inspiration for another adventure area. Or I can do inset maps of this. You know, like we can do a map that's just Esther. You know, just this like bay-ish area between. Uh, Jade Falls and this other city in Esther, or you know, we can do an inset map of the Lapis Coast. Uh, literally anything. So let me know a comment down below to see which one you guys would be more interested in seeing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something, and I will catch you guys next time on the Wooden Otter. Peace!